Is this you? You watch a couple of videos on Instagram of them performing some crazy calisthenic skill and you tell yourself that you really want to learn that too. You skim through some YouTube tutorials and find a few easier progressions and this time around you're so motivated you actually start training for it. A few sessions go by but then you watch another video and another tutorial and decide to test out some other exercises. You repeat this a few times over and change up the skill you're pursuing a couple of times but before you know it you've given up and you've made little to no progress. Sound familiar? In this video I'll reveal the most important principle if you want to make proper gains within calisthenics or training more broadly if I'm being honest. Implementing this principle into your own training will skyrocket your progress whether you're new to training or you're a veteran. It's not progressive overload although that's important and it's not patience. I mean we all know patience is important but unless you're moving in the right direction patience isn't going to get you anywhere. This principle is the foundation of my own training and it should be the foundation of yours too at least if you want to make proper progress. Right now you might be thinking, who are you and why should I listen to you? And simply, my name is Jacob, and I make videos primarily about calisthenics, climbing and functional performance, and I've used this principle that I'm about to reveal to you to achieve several calisthenic skills myself, most recently the one-arm pull-up. So what is this principle, you might ask? Simply put, it's systems must come first. Now what I mean by this is that there must be a dedication to complete systems as opposed to flashy and new exercises. So let's take the one-arm pull-up as an example. Doing the one-arm pull-up isn't about doing this exercise or that exercise. Nobody really cares. What actually matters is the system you have. So regardless of what exercises you use, you need a complete blueprint for how to pr progress, how to go from where you are currently to achieving the skills and going to where you actually want to go. So if someone says one-arm pull-up negative, or they say banded pull-ups, that gives you very little to work with. You need exercises, sure, but there's already an ocean of exercises out there to pick from. But the important part lies in everything that surrounds those exercises. So how your programming is set up with regards to your training frequency and your training volume, how that is divided into sets and reps, how much you're resting, how you're balancing as well as managing your progressive overload and your fatigue, and crucially also how all of these things are achieved but so that they are sustainable to you. Sustainable to you given your training history, given your training preferences, given your time to train per week, all of these different factors. So what people fail to realise about calisthenics, or so few athletes choose to speak about, perhaps deliberately so, is that regardless of whether you're pursuing the one-arm pull-up, the muscle-up, the planche, whatever skill it might be, whether you're simply wanting to build proper strength and master the basics, it's not about magic exercises, but about complete proper systems. By putting complete systems ahead of flashy new exercises you see on your Instagram feed, you'll build a roadmap from your current self to the you that is able to bang out one arm pull ups in your sleep like a G, or whatever else the goal might actually be for you. It's what I use to see true progress with my one arm pull up, it's what helped me build my weighted pull up to the level you guys are slowly seeing on my daily shorts. And frankly, whenever I've made significant progress in any area of my life, it's been backed by proper systems. So nothing changes if nothing changes. Stop hopping from exercise to exercise. Pick a few that you like and that seem to work for you and build a proper system around it. First then will consistency and patience bring you great progress, allowing you to pick plenty of skills and take them off your list. Now, if you're currently in the process of learning your first ever pull up, I'd recommend that you watch this video right here as it's a full guide, a full system on how to achieve it. Otherwise, if you want help with making a system that is fully tailored to you, feel free to reach out to my email or into my Instagram DMs. Or if you're certain that this is something you really want, you can go down into the description of this video, there's a Calendly link, and just book a coaching call right away. Without further ado though, thanks for watching the video, and as always, remember to keep on training, train what you love, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.